imaginary portion there. So this would be like over 2, up 3. And as soon as you do this, crazy stuff starts happening. As soon as you start thinking of complex numbers as able to be graphed on a number grid as opposed to a number line, crazy things start happening. Um, in a good way. There's a whole other geometry. It's kind of neat, actually, if you ask me. Um, interesting, too, like when you start looking at this, any complex number, if this is a complex number A, I'll just generalize it, any complex number, uh, A is going to be in the form like that. If you take the fourth root of A, there's actually, in complex numbers, there's actually four answers. So you'd have like, this is an answer that, you'd have four answers to that in, in a fourth root problem. Now with the real numbers, that's not the case, but with complex numbers, that is the case. Unless you thought of the real number as a complex number. Because any real number is, is a complex number. If every complex number can be written like this, then all the real numbers are just going to be equal zero. Think about it. Uh, right? Because when, when you did this as a kid, right, if you really think about it, that's really what you did. I mean, if you want to be, well, I was going to say if you want to be real about it. No, if you want to be complex about it. <laughs> Uh, right? There's a famous, uh, like, mathematical cartoon or something where this is the problem that's up on the board, and the teacher goes like this. Right? And then the student in the back says, hey, this just got real. <laughs> right? Right? But at any rate, when you're adding the real numbers, real numbers are just particular complex numbers. They're complex numbers where zero is the end. And what you'll find when you get into higher levels of math, you almost always deal with that. Whereas in the lower levels, you keep it real just to be simple. <laughs> but anything you're doing here is really just a special case of that. It's a special case when you have no eyes. It's, uh, to me, that's interesting to think about. Because you go through your whole life thinking these real numbers and all these imaginary numbers are separate. Well, it turns out all the real numbers are just some of the complex numbers. To say the real numbers are here and the complex numbers are here. The real numbers are just all the complex numbers where B is zero. And then, of course, inside the real numbers, you could break the real numbers into our friends, the rationals and the irrationals. Which, by the way, I found a YouTube video that explained that whole thing that I explained that one two days. Uh, it did it in seven minutes. It, I don't think it was perfect, but it, maybe at some point uh, in the year we'll show it. But I don't know. That's interesting to think of. I don't know what got me off on that tangent. <laughs> oh, uh, Olivia asked about this. So this is uh, no, that's okay. This is this is um this form is particularly useful in that situation, as you could possibly find out if you ever started studying those things. Yeah. Uh, I've mentioned many times before, at least twice, I would hope, in your history to this point, how I it was originally conceived to be imaginary, but was eventually shown to be necessary to model electricity coming out of the wall. Um, so if you would be an electrical engineer, you're going to get really good with this stuff. Really good. Um, uh, you, you'll deal with these polar forms all the time. If you're... Um, and then if you just study math far enough, you'll get into that kind of stuff. Because, I mean, it's just, if you think about these simple equations, you can plug in, right? I mean, you can plug in complex numbers if you want. If you want, it would work. And you could actually, if you think about this for a second, too, I, I think this is right. This would be a function from the complex numbers to the real numbers? No. No, that's false. Hmm. I had to, to think about that one for a second. But, uh, oh, this would be. That function would. 
this is a function that you can put in any complex number, and what you get out is always real. Because if you multiply that out, what would you get? A squared minus ABI plus ABI minus BI squared minus ABI plus ABI. You just have A squared plus B squared. Right? Because if you're minus BI squared, I squared is negative 1. That'd be plus B squared. That's B squared. B times B. And A squared plus B squared is real. Just a thought. That would be a function that would take you from, give it any complex number, you'd always make a real number. That was our trick whenever we had a, something like this, right? And we wanted to make it real. So, interesting. Keeping it real on Friday. And this is the last, okay, I'll be nice. I'll be nice. 31, 7, and 8. Enjoy. Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I like your chances. <laughs> Are we going to have independent studies over break?